A ceremonial flypast has been held at RAF Lossiemouth to welcome a new typhoon squadron. The personnel and aircraft will be at the heart of the UK's Quick Reaction Alert Force. The ceremony coincides with the Murray Bay centering its 80th year of service. Nicola McCallie was there. Flying high, a typhoon flypast today to mark the arrival of a new squadron at RAF Lossiemouth. A parade was held at the Murray base as number nine bomber squadron was welcomed by the chief of air staff, Sir Stephen Hillier. One key VIP was missing, Defence Secretary Gavin Williamson, who was yesterday sacked from his role. I was here as uh, station commander uh, 15 years ago now. I'm here back as the chief of the, uh, the Royal Air Force. Uh, it's got a vital role to play, uh, has in the past and it will now into uh, long into the future. It's a huge day for 9 Bomber Squadron as we transition from Tornado to Typhoon. And to be here at Lossie, growing the Typhoon force by another squadron, so we've now got four squadrons here at Lossie Mouth, it's just amazing. Number 9 Bomber Squadron will serve two roles, one as quick reaction alert defending the UK's airspace 24-7 and the other as an aggressor squadron, pitting Typhoon against Typhoon to offer the most modern type of training. To have the Typhoon as an opponent brings a, a more realistic and relevant training environment for the other frontline units so hopefully that means our frontline pilots will be more skilled and ready and prepared for anything that, that happens in the future. Very exciting times for us, a lot of growth for the station to think we were, we were a threat before we're now absolutely growing um, and very exciting times for us uh, both in the air and uh, the maritime role as well. Six years ago thousands turned out on a march to save the Murray station. Today's parade heralds a busy time for the base. The new squadron and next year's arrival of Poseidon P-8 Maritime Patrol aircraft will bring hundreds of personnel to Murray as the region's national defence role continues to grow. Nicola McCallie, STV News.